Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce the most affordable uh, motor kit to build an e-foil board. Uh, it takes quite a long time. <laughs> I test uh, many different setup and uh, I think I'm uh, finalized with this setup right here. So uh, instead of you know, buy a 10,000 foil board, you can uh, build by yourself. So my is only um my the full key is only cost you five hundred dollars, you know. It has a motor, controller, propeller, and throttle, you know, everything. Uh the only thing you need is just add your battery. And the battery is very simple. I designed to use a 24 volt batteries which means you can just serial link to a 12 volt car battery to make a 24 volt batteries so that's super affordable for everybody okay let's go through the detail of my uh my uh, kit i just put on a regular mast so you can see how this works so uh, basically, you're gonna have two. You're gonna have the uh, two pieces. Let me uh, let me remove here. I just put a little demo here. Pretty simple to remove. Okay, that's what you got. Uh, there'll be two pieces right here, um, and uh, you're gonna hook up heat this this motor piece right here hook up on your mask okay uh, once you hook up on your mask you're gonna tie uh, you're gonna tie down this tie down this screw right here okay so this is a M5 uh, bolt uh, so with five five millimeter bolt, uh, depend on the how wide is your mast, you're gonna change this bolt, the, the length of this bolt to fit on your uh, mast. So that's the motor part, and then you can, you don't you don't have to put the, the propeller right here, but I just show you how that works. You just put propeller right here. So that's uh, the whole uh, screw uh, hole is all built in right here okay and then you uh, put on this side so this side there have hole right here you know and then you just uh, tie them in Just a little demo, so. and then, and then you see there's a uh, wires. You can you can so there have a lot of a uh, space you know in between, uh, and then you just put a wire inside those space, and then the the this is a throttle wire, it goes through the goes through inside the mask, so you're gonna draw the hole on your mask. And then, uh, so those are we go inside the mask, go onto your board, and also the battery cable as well. Uh, once you finish those uh, stuff, so there have there you know there still have many space even right here the gaps. So you're gonna use some kind of uh, silicone to uh, make those uh, snooze, so that that won't cause any uh, drag in the water. Um, that's the whole setup for the for this uh, motor key. You can see it's very simple. Uh -huh. Coming up. Coming up. <laughs> So once the wire went through to your board, the only thing you need to connect the battery, yeah, 24 volt battery, uh, and then uh, my uh, 
and then my wired straddle. So basically you just match the color to uh, connect them together, okay? And uh, the wired straddle, the good thing about the wired straddle is it's just very simple, you know. So that's the straddle in your hand, so, okay? Uh, it, basically it's just a knot, you just turn to uh, meet, uh, you know, the speed you want. And then, uh, and then this is a kind of natural uh, cruise control. So, and also you don't need to worry about the fall off the board, because once you fall off or it will be disconnect. So, um, that will be shut down the motors. So it's like a kill switch. And once you get, up, get back on the board, you just dump out the water and then connect them together. That'll be it. And keep writing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the wireless throttle is uh, much simple compared to wireless throttle. Because the wireless throttle, you know, you put that throttle on your hand, sometimes it's fall in the water. You, you need to get another one. And sometimes you just, uh, you know, forgot to charge the battery and you cannot really write, you know. <laughs> so the, the, the wireless throttle is much simple, you know. And then uh, battery, like I said, any uh, 24 volt battery will be work. Uh, but uh, this motor require at least 100 amp continual current. So, uh, I mean, for the regular car battery, that's no problem. The regular car battery usually can pro over 200 amp current. Uh, but, uh, if, if, but also you can use, this is my idea. So I use a 6S battery. So this is a regular 6S battery. Uh, where is this? 6S battery. 6S battery. Uh, so that's kind of regular 6S battery. So, and uh, this is the waterproofed case I bought from Walmart. And uh, I just put a new connection right here. And then this case can fit three of these batteries. You know, so can fit three of these batteries. So that three battery can give you roughly a, a, a half hour ride on the water. But you can see this the whole setup right here is pretty small. Pretty small. Um, you have the idea. I mean, you can get a bigger case and put more battery inside. <laughs> so, so for the small setup, so this is a so those kind of six size battery is much better. Because the smaller size, this is a ten amp power battery. Um, you know, big uh, uh, power density for this con for this kind of batteries. Um, you c you can just buy more of this and then you know put a bigger uh, waterproof case for your e foil board for the longer ride. Uh, yeah, that's the idea for that uh, battery part. Uh, talk about the motor. So this is a this is the all runner motor. Uh, that's pretty much. Uh, you know, biggest all runner motor can found to put it here. You know, usually the all runner motor it's uh, it's much uh, bigger in the diameter. I'll show you here. So that's the in runner motor. You can see the in runner motor on market they have make a longer uh, signal in the diameter, but the all runner motor intend to make a you know much uh, bigger in the diameter. So that's pretty much the smallest diameter motor I can find to put it here. Uh, the reason I want to use the all runner motor is it's, uh, it's much more efficient compared to the in runner motor. Uh, but since this motor is still a very small motor, so you cannot really use this motor to drive a you know, smaller uh, uh, foil wing. Like a, Think about the foil become popular is from the keyboard, right? So a lot of right now some a lot of keyboard uh, you know they use the foil to write uh, about water is much more efficient. Uh, so those foil is considered is much smaller. Uh, you need more speed 
to uh, get above the water. Uh, so this motor is still not enough power to drive that. I can show you the difference right here. You can see this is a big foil. You <laughs> see the size. <laughs> okay. So those are foil. It's uh, made for the stand-up handle board. You see the video where uh, people, uh, you know, stand up handle and start pumping, 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 and get up the water and get right. So that's a, that's kind of for your wing made for those. So it doesn't require, um, you know, big speed, and uh, it's easier to get above the water, and uh, ride is more comfortable. Once you ride above the water, it's much more comfortable because it's big. Okay. And uh, can compare. So that that wing is uh, is a regular uh, kiteboarding wing, or, you know, wing foil wing. So you can compare. This is much smaller compared to the you know the <laughs> the big one is much smaller. Yeah. So those are made for the you know kiteboarding uh, wing foil uh, those kind of things. So in order to drive this uh, small wing, so we're gonna need a big motor. I do have a solution for that, because uh, I built a you know two motor uh, electric surfboard kit. Uh, basically, uh, two of these all render motors, uh, and then uh, drive a regular uh, long surfboard. Those are really affordable for. Everybody, you know, if you don't want to get a big win, you know, for your win, you can just put on an, an a uh, surfboard and get it right on the water. It's a lot of fun too. Uh, of course, it's not not efficient like a uh, use a foil because the foil is you're above the water. So only thing under is just a foil, which uh, is more efficient. But uh, the thing is, I want to use that two motor key. To hook up right here, uh, you know, two motors right here to uh, drive a regular uh, uh, foil win. Um, you know, the smaller foil win. That'll be work on that, and that that'll be uh, my uh, next uh, project on that. Um, but it's pretty simple. I mean, uh, what I want to do is just uh, make things uh, more of affordable for everybody uh, and easier to install. And you can have those uh, keep on 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 your project, though, and very easy to uh, to put it down. Instead of you know you have to uh, uh, buy the motor, uh, buy the propeller, <laughs> and buy the controller, and then put everything together. So uh, my key is you know I I I, I eliminated all those works, and uh, you have. Uh, Full uh, ready to install kit, and the uh, only thing is add on is just a battery. So, very easy for you to uh, build your board. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, this video, and uh, I'll go ahead for next project for you. <laughs> See you. Bye.